This video demonstrates how to handle the Pneumoliner containment device for morselation with a laparoscopic instrument port. First, create an incision 20 to 25 millimeters long. Insert the distal ring into the introducer with the removal ribbon at the distal end. Ensure that the removal ribbon is pointing outwards. Avoid bunching of the sleeve. Guide the retractor introducer through the incision. After the tip has passed through, completely eject the distal ring into the cavity and then remove the introducer. Pull the retracting sleeve upwards while simultaneously pushing the proximal ring down until the incision is fully retracted. Check for viscera and adhesions under the distal ring prior to full retraction. Gently pull on the removal ribbon to remove the excess length from inside the incision. The retracting sleeve should then be trimmed six gradations above the proximal ring. Fold the remaining sleeve inside the proximal ring and connect the boot. Connect the insufflation tubing to either port. The other port can then be used to vent fumes. Insufflate the abdomen. When using the reducer, a 5 mm instrument can be inserted through the yellow valve. Insert a 5 mm laparoscope through the 5 mm instrument valve on the boot or through a separate 5 mm cannula. Place the target tissue in a good position before deploying the pneumoliner. Insert the pneumoliner introducer shaft. Ensure that the distal tab is the leading end and that it points upwards. Insert the pneumoliner plunger into the shaft and push it forward to deploy the pneumoliner. Remove the plunger and the introducer shaft simultaneously to avoid leakage. Ensure free end of tether remains external to abdominal cavity throughout the procedure. Position the target tissue in the pneumoliner using an atraumatic grasper. The collar can be grasped to ensure encapsulation without damaging the pneumoliner. Pulling the distal tab up and slightly over the tissue helps ensure capture. Carefully pull the tether to close the pneumoliner. Continue until the opening ring is partially pulled through the yellow valve and the pneumoliner is closed. Remove all trocars to prevent the pneumoliner from being damaged during insufflation. Detach the boot using the removal tab and remove it from the tether while the abdomen is deflating. Ensure that the boot remains in the sterile field. Now, pull the tether until the printed line is visible. Open the pneumoliner and ensure that it is in the correct orientation and is not twisted. A twisted pneumoliner can be corrected by pulling apart both tabs and carefully rotating them while slowly pulling on the pneumoliner. Reattach the boot in the desired orientation. Do not twist the boot while it is attached. Insufflate the pneumoliner to a pressure of 12 to 15 millimeters of mercury using the insufflation port. Ensure the pneumoliner is inflated before insertion of the laparoscope through the blue valve. Insert a 5 mm laparoscope with a minimum 30 degree direction of view or one with a deflectible tip. The laparoscope should always be inserted prior to the morselator. Once the scope is in place, insert the morselator containing the obturator through the yellow valve. The obturator must always be used prior to the insertion of the morselator into the pneumoliner. Remove the obturator and keep it in the sterile field for possible reinsertion later. Insert the claw forceps or the tenaculum with the jaws closed. Start morselating carefully, keeping the following points in mind. Always put the scope in first and ensure the obturator is inside the morselator upon insertion. Keep the tenaculum in view at all times. 
Maintain the minimum insertion depth. Always move the tissue with a closed tenaculum to estimate depth. Grasp and retract the target tissue, making contact with the tip of the morselator. Do not open the grasping forceps inside the morselator shaft. Stop morselation once the gross tissue mass has been reduced to pieces smaller than four printed grid squares. Continuously monitor the pressure in the abdominal cavity. Do not touch the pneumoliner with an open tenaculum. When cleaning the scope, remove all instruments first, and then the scope. Remember the correct order for reinsertion, including the obturator. Once the specimen has been reduced sufficiently and only small bits and fluid remain, remove all the instruments, ending with the scope. Detach the boot and gently pull on the pneumoliner while keeping the neck open to ensure that gas can escape. Continue pulling back on the open neck of the pneumoliner. If the pneumoliner cannot be removed easily, tissue pieces can be extracted using an atraumatic grasper at the neck. Remove the retractor by pulling on the removal ribbon. We wish you much success using the pneumoliner containment device for morselation.